brings into my cabinet a wealth of experience from the private sector where she served in various administrative positions, not only to mention as a polit her political background that has also shaped her expertise in people management. She has also worked in the national government. She's got experience working, let's say, in government. So maybe Machakos County government will just be, I pray, a walk in the park. On the other hand, Mr. Mutia brings a wealth of knowledge at the Public Service Board. Mr. Mutia is an authority in accounting and finance and is, and is decorated with bachelor and MBA degrees from Kenyatta University and the University of Nairobi, respectively. If I can spend 100 million to touch <coughs> even half of Machakos, or the whole of Machakos, and so be it, but also give quality, give quality work. The bottom line here is quality work. And I'm putting all the ministers and the chief officers, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm putting you guys on notice. You cannot, I cannot give you work, but then I want to my engineer, your engineers are working all over the place, they are not even there checking the projects. If your workers are not working, you as a minister or chief officer will go home because you're not in control. You're not in control. I found it very difficult, myself, even forming committees, to go and check over work where I have people who should be checking the work. Kamani barabara, kamani maji, Kama ni building, kila mtu afanye kazi yake. And let me tell you, sucking you, I will suck you. Don't give me your vote in 2027. Because I will not allow you to do the wrong thing. There are people who came here with a very bad attitude. Thinking Machakos is a place to make money. There are people who just want left, right and center. Kuiba wezi. Thieves. And I can assure you our wezi wanaenda. Take it to the bank. I find you doing corruption in Machakos County. I swear to God, you will go. What were Mefikiria Machakos? I don't know what attitude was there in Machakos. Come on, project. Project, I'll give an example. I've spent less than 300 million to do more than 70, 70 dams. Watu wanataka kwenda kuweka 40 million, 30 million kutengeneza da moja. Not in Machakos and not when I'm the governor. Not in Machakos and not when I'm the, the governor. We must have spent, even if, uh, how do I say, any money we spend must have impact on our people. I am very excited today as we gather here to witness the swearing in of Honorable Rita Ndunge and Christopher Mutie for respective offices. <laughs> Congratulations, Rita, on becoming the newest county executive member in Machakos. <laughs> and I think that I'm more than uh, the, I've, I've uh, complied with the gender rule. Uh, two thirds. On the same note, I also congratulate Mr. Chris Mutier on his appointment as a member of County Public Service Board. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when a vacancy arose in my executive committee, it was my duty as the governor to take appropriate action. Guided by the law, I nominated a candidate for the said position in order to ensure smooth operations in my government. Honorable Rita Ndunge is the incoming CEC member for roads, transport and public works.